do they say when you get on a boat? Dope Nostalgia presents. Get ready for Sail Away Sunday. We're sailing away. Hola, mama. Hola, mama. Hola, mama. Hola, ah, ah. Hola, mama. Hola, mama. Hola, mama. Hola, mama. Ah, hola, ah, ah. It's time to join me with some special guests as we relive the Sail Away to Half Moon Key. NKOTB Cruise 2022. So welcome, Adrian. It's so good to see you. So good to see you, Naomi. And it's exciting right now because this has been a big year for Rat Tail. Big year. Huge things have happened. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Yeah, this year has been amazing big things and it's just been exciting to like get to know you and come and see you and then now that we've went on the cruise together too I mean it was just awesome I know our very first day when we got to Miami um I was rooming with Chrissy and you and Chris yeah y'all were very very generous to let us crash your Miami hotel room oh no it was awesome to have us all hang out and uh I just felt bad because I'm like, I bet I'm snoring. Oh, no, I'm probably snoring. <laughs> I brought everybody oh, my God. As a, <laughs> as a former snorer, I now have a CPAP machine. Um, don't worry. And I know that anxiety because, like, I developed that fun reputation amongst my friend group of, like, who gets to sleep in Adrian's room while she lays a railroad track every night. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got you. It's okay. I'm I am gonna get. Feeling. I actually have an appointment to get the whole sleep test done, so we'll figure it out. Oh, do it! It's changed my life. And for those of you out there who are tired for no reason, you sleep eight hours and you're still exhausted. Maybe you should get a sleep apnea test. Just saying. Yes, it'll amaze you. It'll scare you and amaze you, especially if you have <laughs> sleep apnea. And then it, once you get the machine for it, it it's really amazing how it changes your life. So I'm excited to see all that goes for you. Thank you. Um, I'm excited that you uh, guys were a major part of the karaoke night that we did at uh, Sweet Caroline's. Oh my gosh. So it's so funny. Cause like, yeah, the cruise was really fun and everything, but like, honestly, if people are like, what was the most fun thing that happened? Uh, it was the karaoke night in Miami before. <laughs> It was so fun. I was I was kind of apprehensive at first when I saw the room because I saw how small the room was and then it had like maybe three or four tables and I wanted that to have like lots of tables so everybody could just relax because they're about to have the time of their lives for four days, right? May as well just yeah. have a seat. <laughs> but it was more like a club. And then we found out that it oh was like, my gosh. it was like ladies night. So there was yeah, like all was. these all these dudes that were there and we're like, why are there tons of guys here? <laughs> like a sausage yeah. fest. Sausage fest. It was so fun. Honestly, it, it felt like the perfect way to kick things off. It felt like cheers. Like when we walked <laughs> in, we were like, everybody we love here. And we, it was like such a fun meeting place. We met, finally got to meet so many people that we have been so excited to meet and mm. to think that it didn't happen on the boat. And then of course I, so I'm a karaoke. I love karaoke. It's mm. one of my favorite things to do. I am not as talented as you are, Naomi. You have the voice of an angel and Aww. I love getting to see you perform, but I also love performing even though my voice is shit. I don't give a shit. I'm like, I am here just to perform. And so in case y'all didn't know, this DJ had, <laughs> this one's for the children as a karaoke <laughs> option. 
And that will go as one of like the top five karaoke performances of my life because I did it with Chrissy and then Naomi, you were a background dancer and DJ Amanda Knight from No More Games Radio was a background dancer. And when I say background dancer, I mean, you were twerking, we were body (laughs) rolling and we had that entire bar hands waving doing body rolls all over the place to this was for the children. It was so inappropriate that it fed my soul. It's still feeding my soul. It was a highlight of my life. Like I tell you, just, just to watching the reaction of all the people around the stage getting involved, hanging out. And I don't know if those body rolls and those, that twerking, man, I definitely had a couple of drinks in me to get dude. that rolling just to get that body roll nice and smooth, you know? Um, Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, yeah. I thought we were going to get our asses kicked out for for like doing pole dancing to this one's for the children. Not only did we not get our asses kicked out, we had the first two rows doing it alongside us. It was like that was epic. Naomi, it was a, so it was a true joy. Party. It was a true joy to, to have that party <laughs> and the turnout. I want to thank so every single cool. person who was there and a part of it, you know. They should reach Dude, out to us so and share their videos and pictures. Me. And the sausage yeah, fest, which it was, was so fun. I don't know where, but it's it was it was really cool. And you are quite the performer. You really get the crowd rolling. Like you did a song by my other favorite band, Bon Jovi. Yeah, and everyone went <laughs> nuts and enjoyed it. So yeah, that, was that's really my cool. go-to. You give love a bad name is my go-to because there's also that part like song choice and karaoke is so important right and you know this because this is your <laughs> world this is your wheelhouse right but song choice yeah. is so important and um i don't even know what that name the title of the song is but it's you give love a bad name that's but, it yeah and there's that part at the end where he breaks it down and you got to ask the crowd to do it with you and they love it every time mhm Oh yeah, and you got yeah. hands clapping in the air and stuff. Yeah. Oh dude. Gosh, my see my heart rate is going up right now. Um, <laughs> let's do it again, Naomi. Next cruise. Karaoke I, pre-party. Yep. Oh, it's happening again. It's gonna be a tradition. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> so so then okay, so we had a great night. We didn't go t- too overboard because we had a huge four days ahead of us. Yeah. So you guys are very responsible going to bed early we had some pizza yeah. crash <laughs> <laughs> well i you know i think we were very on guard with um kind of being ready for the experience and i think we were a little like nervous about what what was going to happen and so i think we were just very invested in like getting on the boat yeah. and getting going <laughs> yeah so day one First time for you and Chris. Yeah. First first time cruisers. Yeah. Tell me about the experience. How, how was it for you checking in and everything and getting yourself situated on the boat? Um, super exciting, super fun. Um, well, I think that goes for the whole thing. Uh checking in was a lot, was easy breezy. Um mm-hmm. And we started to see people, which was so exciting. It was so exciting to get to meet some of, like it started right when we entered and it was just so fun um, to finally get to see people. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we heard people would be like, oh, it's Adrian and Chris. And then I'd be like, wait, who? what's your tag? What's your handle? And they would say it. And it was just like a constant reunion. Like, oh my gosh, it's you, it's you, it's you. So there yeah. was a lot of that. And um that kind of was continuous throughout the cruise and um, that, that started during check-in and it was, it was so much fun. And yeah, we got on the boat. We, we checked out, we had our door ready to go and we had it like down to the wire. Like it was like those race car drivers, how they have the team. We Mm -hmm. had that for the door. We had everything ready to go. And it like really took us like 10 minutes. Oh Um, man. The door was great. Oh my God, the cock door. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, the bead <laughs> cock door. It was so much fun and such a fun way to get to see people too. So yeah, it was pretty good. It was exciting walking on the boat, especially because like 
I've come out to the West Coast now, but I haven't been to the East Coast. There's a lot of people I I got to see, like the No More Games Radio people. You know, yes, that was really exciting. And and of course, Nikki and Brooke for the first time. Oh my gosh, we I saw them to- for the first time in the cap, not the cafeteria, but the dining hall. Like, yeah, and yeah, it was. Isn't that feeling amazing when you finally get to meet the people that you've had like relationships with online that's such a gift so amazing it is it's like well even like the first time I met you outside like the train station yeah I was just like this is surreal (laughs) this is so crazy but like that was obviously in the summer but um yeah seeing Nikki and Brooke the first thing I said to Nikki I'm like you're a tall girl like me (laughs) because you feel taller because I'm sitting down in front of this screen (laughs) I had no idea it's like oh sweet. my gosh, I don't think people realize how tall she is. Yeah. Or tall you are. Yeah. I'm like five nine. So I'm pretty sure she's a, probably about the same. Yeah. Five eight, five nine, something like that. Yeah. Tall girls. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely a surreal experience to get to meet people that you've had online friendships with. So that's mm-hmm. that's the beauty of the cruise, I think, for sure. And then, so you were in group B, which means that I was in group A, but a lot of my friends were in group B. So we definitely didn't get to see some of the same things. Kind of makes it for a little difficult for organizing stuff and seeing each other, but it all worked out great anyway. I think it all worked out, but I do, I am putting that in the learning bucket. Um, yeah. Like I, I think for people that really want to hang out with, try to get the same dining group for sure. So I think I'm going to, you know, I think that's just a learning and you're right. I think you can always coordinate around it, but I don't know. It was, it was fun to see the people that we could during the shows and things like that. So I think that's something that next time we'll coordinate a little better around. What did you guys do for uh, love eternal night? Um, we just did, uh, hearts. Chris had a really cute shirt from Amazon that like three other guys had on, which was so fun. (laughs) Um, We kept running into these guys with the same cute heart Amazon shirt on the boat, which was so cute. Um, We kept it kind of low key. And part of that was because I had a wonderful outfit planned, Mm -hmm. um, but it didn't arrive to my house on time. It arrived the day after I left for Miami and it was the cutest outfit um, but, it, and I ordered it a month in advance, but it was from one of those companies that you don't know, realize is based out of y'all know what I'm talking about, right? They're all exactly. based in China or Taiwan. And so it takes 29 days to get to you. So anyway, if you're lucky, <laughs> that was going to be emergency outfit. Um, but it was good. It was low key. And I think it was good that way. Like not a over the, over the moon outfit and, um, just kind of allowed us to ease into everything and just feel put our feelers out for what this was going to be like. Mm-hmm. Where did you guys watch most of it from? Oh my gosh, my memory. Oh, my memory. It's hard to remember each night and where you were situated sometimes. Like I find. Um, yeah. That was we were up okay. behind a side stage. Yeah. We moved around a lot. So yeah. we, we, I think we were, well, for sail away, we were at the very top. Because we were just totally overwhelmed with the whole thing. So we went to the top, very top. And that was fun because John goes up there. And we got to see John and get a selfie with John. Um, And, you know, like Chris and I, um, we're both both a little bit, not a little bit, but we're both introverts. And so we did kind of have to take a moment to sit on this, like sit at the top deck by ourselves and take a breath and be like, deep breaths. Like we got this. So sail away we did from the top and then uh, we just kind of walked around and we ended the night on one of the risers on this in the second row with a lot of our friends and that was just electric and fun and pretty amazing. That was fun after the actual like the new kids were gone and then we were just up there dancing. I was with you guys. It was just yep. like our, it was like our crew having a little get together and yeah. kind of like wrapping up that night. That was so special. So special. We did find the after party. Was it that night? Yes. Yeah. The yeah, the after party we went to the first night and um that was a lot of fun. Uh you know, it's just a lot of people 
hanging out. And mm -hmm. that's where, ooh, that's where we had a lot to drink that night. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we had a lot to drink, um, but we also had a lot of fun. So yeah, man, that was, that was cool. And once again, it was meeting people uh, again, like, uh, you know, Kevin? I, Talk, you know, I know Kevin. of Kevin, but I did not get to meet him on the boat. You know what I love about Kevin? I And I hope I don't sound like a stalker because I don't know that Kevin knows who I am, but I love his voice. Yes. Yes. He's, he's done an the episode. Coolest accent. He's done an episode of Dope Nostalgia with me about Mariah Carey and he's very knowledgeable about her career. Wait, so he was a great guest. Kevin likes Mariah Carey. I have to watch that oh, episode. Yeah. He loves you know Mariah. Who, you know who else loves Mariah? Christopher. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> Major Mariah fan. Oh, I can't wait to go. I'm going to go listen to that tomorrow on my ride to work. Yeah, he he knows his Mariah stuff. It's pretty sweet. That's yeah. Awesome. So we wrap up that day. We move on to day two. Bring back the time night, which was really exciting because I was so happy that we did that. I got to be in the your guys's group costume. Yes. Oh my gosh. That group costume was everything. All the credit goes to Chris, um, yes. who handed every single one of our outfits. Um, dude, I kept mine because I'm going to wear it again. Um, mm -hmm. and so anybody that doesn't know, we were the, um, everyone has a different name for it. Chris <laughs> calls it the, we don't care bears. I called it the we don't give a fuck bears, like <laughs> whatever. And each of us had, um, you know, and we went all out. We bought the full furry suits mm. and we cut them because we knew it was going to be hot. So we cut the sleeves, cut the shorts and um, we went all out. And um, do you want to tell them what bear you were? I was WAP bear. Yes. Wap. You know what the hell that means, people. And if you don't look it up, Urban Dictionary. Had a um, pot of macaroni on my chest. Woo. It was so cute. You were the cutest WAP bear ever. Uh, Chris was swear bear and he had like expletives on his belly. I was um, drinks a lot. No, drunks a lot. And I had a shot glass and champagne. Uh, HK was bondage bear. Hers was favorite she mm. had this teddy bear with a ball gag and like nipple cover clamps it was the best thing ever and then um our friend chrissy was big dick energy bear she had that eggplant yes uh, dude that that was so fun wasn't it and then chris got pulled up on stage which was so special and so cute Jordan um, body and, surfed over us huh oh my gosh i got to touch jordan's body <laughs> In a respectful way. In, in a, a respectful, respectful way. way. As, as he was passing me, I touched his shoulder and his arm. <laughs> and then when his butt came, I pulled my hand away. Naomi. And then I touched his leg. Model citizen. Model but citizen, Naomi. I always wonder if nobody wants, if no, if everyone's trying to be respectful and not touch his ass, does that mean he will fall in his ass? Yes, someone's got to touch his ass. It's Someone... a good thing that his security was under him. Yeah, thank God. that They're the ass touchers. They yes. can ass touch. Um, yes. I'm so I'm so glad we were so respectful. Cheers to us. Cheers to for, us for surviving that and and not being inappropriate. Um, yes, that was just so fun to be so close and to just be engaged with the guys that way. And we had our outfits on, and that was a really special mm -hmm. night. I know that you know, although it was a hot night and all that, we still I think it was one of my favorite nights. It was definitely yeah. um, just so entertaining. It was great watching John watch fireworks. Oh my gosh, John, um, John, and I, I, I know everyone that was on that cruise understands what I'm saying. John was the BDE king of the Lido deck parties. Um, mm -hmm. I enjoyed watching John uh, just be John. And, and my favorite moment was when he was with the ASL interpreter, the sign language interpreter, yeah. just drunk drunk as a skunk sitting down having her teach him how to sign and oh my I didn't even see that wonderful and John was just living his best life um doing mm -hmm. whatever the fuck he wanted and that I like that energy in people 
Mm -hmm. I like it. So that was so fun. It was a night full of love. I'm like, remember when Donnie brought that girl up on stage who had the wheelchair? Yes. And she wheelchair cool. danced and it was so awesome. She, oh, dude, she is badass, dude. She was breaking it down <laughs> yeah. on the beat, like choreographed. Uh, I want to do karaoke with her. I'm like, come do karaoke mm -hmm. with me and like, let's, let's break it down for people. But um, I thought that was really awesome. And, and she just kind of lit up the stage. It's uh it was a fantastic night and uh, another after party happened that night too. I know. I don't know if you guys were there. I don't think so. Um, gosh, there was you? one night that we didn't go because we went to bed. That might have been it because uh, there's there was only two nights with after parties. Yep. So we only did one. I mean, we we really used our one after party pretty well. Yeah. It, was, it was fun. There was a lot of dancing, a lot of interaction. Um, and that was probably the most inebriated we were. <laughs> so, yeah. After these messages, we'll be right back. Dope Nostalgia listeners, I love you and I thank you so much for being a part of this show and its success over the last two years. We have what's called Patreon for those who want to support the show financially. For as little as $1 a month, you can become a subscriber and get bonus content, early podcast release, all kinds of cool behind the scenes stuff, and more. There's different tiers of membership starting at only $1 a month. And we even have some special merch for you guys who are in it for the long run. So please join our Patreon. It's at www.patreon.com forward slash dope nostalgia. Hi, we're the new kids on the block. We really appreciate all of your phone calls to our private hotline, 1-900-9095-KID. It's great talking to you and sharing our personal thoughts. You know, we're not too young to fall in love, and if you're one of the special callers, you get to talk to us live. A portion of the net proceeds will help to support United Cerebral Palsy. So give us a call at 1-900-9095-KID. Under 18, get permission before calling. $2 first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. And remember, we'll be loving you forever. Well, day three, I think, yeah. over there. Yes. I wake up to the most amazing surprise when Donnie is making the announcements for the morning. It's so if you had to get up out of the bed, just let me know what room number you happen to be in, and I may pop by and visit you in that bed. And for that special new kid who's laying on his back right now, stretching out his body parts, I hope you're enjoying it, young man. I was enjoying watching you. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, um, anyway, a special surprise announcement at 5 p.m. on the Lido deck. Yes, it's Lido in Europe, so deal with it. On the Lido deck, there will be a special interview slash game slash chat slash conversation held and sponsored by Rat Tail and KOTB and Share Chatter, featuring yours truly and a few special guests. So please, if you're not doing anything, be at the Lido deck at 5 p.m. As you've come to realize on this cruise, just about anything can happen and probably will. Hello, ma'am, would you like to take a photo while I'm chatting? Uh, hold on, ma'am, come down here and say hi to everyone. Uh, say hi. Hi. That was very sexy. Say it a little more. Whispering, please. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Don't be frightened. Hi. How are you doing, guys? That was just splendid. Thank you. Anyway, that's 5 p.m. at the uh, Lido deck. Prepare for laughs, lustful conversations, and lots of outrageousness. And until such time as I see you then, I'll be thinking of you. Think of me as well as you lay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Rat tail and chair chatter. Rat chat. 
are going to be on the Lido deck at 5 p.m. with a very special presentation. I'm just like, holy shit. Wow. <laughs> yes. Holy um, shit. And then you you didn't tell a soul. You kept that yeah. secret locked up tight. Yeah. Man. Because, you know, wow. if, if, if we didn't tell you, Naomi, I mean, that means that it's with an ironclad secret. Um, but believe it or not, we didn't know we were doing it that day until that day either because we were supposed to do it the next day mm. so um they did a little switcheroo on us and um yeah that announcement I think I caught the end of that announcement and I'm going to keep it forever because uh it's really special to us but yeah yeah it was it was uh I'm just like we're just so excited and I'm like I can't go anywhere I'm not going anywhere I'm going to be here <laughs> I'm ready. But it I was, was also that was also very um tired. So I slept most of the morning and then mm-hmm. came to the Lido deck to hang out. And that's where I met Rose, uh JK's right stuff. And, oh fun. And we were just all kind of like sitting around and we were talking about the day, getting some sun. Nice. While you were probably getting all ready for it. We were. We were getting ready for it. Um we uh we did a live a couple weeks ago with chair chatter to talk about our experience with it. So I would check it out on their Instagram. I think they still have it there. Um, we, nice. we were in their rooms and we went to their room and just, you know, we had met previously. So we had actually planned this. We had a couple planning meetings. We had about three weeks to plan uh, the event before the cruise. So it wasn't like we were going in blind. Like we had gotten together and, tossed ideas around and had actually created like the slide deck and all of that. And so because it was the day before we were supposed to do it, we were a little rattled. We were like, Oh shit, like this is happening. And so, um, Mm -hmm. we just got together. We, we like made our cue cards. We practiced some of us vomited. Some of us (laughs) took medication. Like we, (laughs) you know, we were getting ourselves ready and, um, yeah. And then, and then we did the thing. We did the thing. I was very impressed um, with how you, how you presented each question and how on the ball with the wit you were. And you, 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 you did not look or appear nervous. I know you must've been, but you did such a great job. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. Um, I, you know, I, I think it was a dream come true and you know, I'm going to work on not being shy about saying this, but that is my happy place I have found. Like mm-hmm. the experience of getting to be in community with with that whole Lido deck with Donnie there to get to talk about our favorite band and get to talk about what like we love to talk about on Rat Tail, like mm-hmm. dream come true. And yes, I was nervous. But I also haven't felt so alive in a long time. Like it was, it, it just was my, it was just amazing, you know? And I, I know that Chris feels similar and, you know, Chair Chatter feels the same, but it, it was really magical for us. It was great. Is there a moment where you look at the start of Rat Tail and all the things you guys have accomplished and then say, look where we are? Oh my gosh. Um, I think we probably need to take more moments to do that, but I I think we, I also, it's really funny and I, I don't want to sound obnoxious when I say this, but a lot of reactions have been like, you made it. And, and I think we're, we're not really satisfied ever because rat tail has brought us so much joy and happiness. And yet we're still like, but, but there's so much more that we can accomplish. Like it's, it's so funny because like when we're in new kids on the block land, we feel at home, you know, getting to meet people and getting to do that kind of stuff is like our currency, because I think people don't realize like we only have like 2000 subscribers on YouTube. Like we are nothing on YouTube. Like you know, if you're going to make it, make it as an influencer, you got to have like 10,000 or more subs. 
And so it, it's interesting because we're like, that's what we're going for. Like we want to reach as many people as possible. And, and mm -hmm. we're still like a teeny tiny itty bitty YouTube channel. And but not just blockheads. There's going to be so many people who aren't blockheads who are going to find that what you do is very entertaining and they're going to enjoy watching it and learning a bit about the new kids as well. Yeah. That's the dream, right? That's the dream. And so while we're really excited that we got that opportunity, we're still a little bit like, oh, we got more shit to do. Like we have more friends to meet. We, we want to connect more in different ways. And so I think it's really lit a fire under us. I think when we look at 2023, we're already thinking of just a little being a more outlandish stuff and more crazy stuff and um, just continuing to grow. So I hope that's not an obnoxious answer because, yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's not. That's a thrill. Yeah. Honestly. Like, yeah. So all, but all the people who follow you guys, are, they're going to be excited to see what comes up in the future for you. And I'm very excited to see what you guys do going forward. That's what you should feel like. You should feel like. I'm ready to do this. Like, this has just encouraged me. Yes, you know? that's, that's such a good way to put it. And like, we also, I think we're our worst, own worst critic. I mean, maybe me more than Chris, because I think sometimes Chris is like, relax, Adrian, <laughs> like, like relax. But, um, you know, I think about like, if Donnie were to ever ask us to do that again on the cruise, mm -hmm. we, we just learned so much and we're like, there's ways we could do it better. Like Naomi, I need to get your idea about this. If if mm -hmm. we were ever asked to do something similar like this again, don't you think in that theater doing a video react with an entire audience would be fun or not? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like yeah, that would be amazing. Right. And, and we could just have audience participation and play a video and just have because that's our that's our wheelhouse, right? Is like mm -hmm. watching videos and reacting. So, I mean, I I think the the world world is our oyster. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, yes. And also, big big gratitude to Donnie because mm -hmm. Donnie is the one that pulled us into that. And you know, I think Rat Tail is maybe also kind of a Donnie channel as well at this point because that man is. Um, I I hope he understands like how special that was for us because I, I think that you guys are very special to him I think that he really appreciates what you do oh, um that man you know it, it, yeah and and the fact that he he called out so many people on all the good things that they're doing with social media and creating and oh my goodness um, what a what a, an amazing thing that he sees everything that's going on and loves it does. and I remember Naomi who else he called out, which I got an inner fucking thrill when he was like, my so-called whatever. Don't yes. nostalgia. I was like, yeah, fuck I yeah. Like I was like, oh my God. I was just like, yes. And like Car and Char and like, yes. but there are so many other content creators. Like mm -hmm. um, the world, this fandom, like blockhead world is so filled with so many creative awesome people like mm -hmm. J like jk's mental shot like me mm -hmm. like y'all are brilliant Cherie. and i'm so glad that he sees it i'm i'm so glad that he gets to see all the brilliance that is in our community oh yep. yeah the fact that he's paying attention means the world to all of us oh. so thank you donnie we love you <laughs> donnie walker bte king of our hearts dude no kidding yeah. Um, gotta ask too, since John joined now, yeah. what did John, did you have a moment to talk with John about things going on with rat tail and stuff or how, how no. aware was John of what was actually going on? <laughs> I think John, um, John did not know what he was getting himself into. Um, <laughs> and he was a good sport. So we have the majority of rat chat on our YouTube channel, um, mm -hmm. rat tail. Um, please find it and subscribe, please. Um, I think you'll, you'll see that John was a good sport. You know, yes. he, he shared a very funny story about a wood saw or a, a sander. A sander. <laughs> I forget what it was. <laughs> but, um, but something sexual about, you know, re, you know, remodeling work, which I thought was fucking hilarious. Um, but <laughs> 
But, you know, it kind of went moved quickly. And I think the guys are super busy. So we actually didn't get any time afterwards. Um, but I'm super grateful that he joined. And yeah, I think I think we're still kind of knocking on the door of some of the guys. Yeah. So, you know, uh, Danny has always been super open. Oh, I'm still a Danny girl. Everyone's yes. like, are you a Donnie girl? No, no. I love Donnie Walbert to death, but I am still a Danny girl. And I've been doing mm-hmm. a lot of Joey stuff and Joey's starting to get to know who we are too. But Jordan yeah. and John, those night brothers. <laughs> the <we're>, mystery boys, man. <laughs> you know, they're just playing hard to get with Rat Tail and that's fine, but. That's right. <laughs> we'll get you. Playing hard to get is kind of hot. Good job, guys. We'll get you. I, I don't we'll know, Naomi. You. I kind of like them easy. But uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. That's true. That's true. Oh man! So like, we go from there. Now we're into day four. Yeah. Right. Well, we, we skipped over Halloween. I skipped over Halloween. Halloween. What did you guys wear? Oh my gosh! So, uh, Chris was a kissy face emoji, which is an emoji we use a lot. Rat tail. Mm-hmm. Um. So he, Chris is just one of the most talented, creative people I know. And he makes like Halloween is his Super Bowl. Uh, that <laughs> man can sew anything. He's also a very talented artist. Um, Chris is just creative and detail oriented in really amazing ways. And, and that's one of the things I love about him. Um, so he made, he made the cutest emoji outfit. He was so cute. And mm. then I was a dirty dog. Um, yeah, and I forgot my ski goggles at home. I'm so fucking pissed, <laughs> Naomi, because I was going to show you because you are my ski goggle sister. Like yes. you understand the importance of Joey wearing ski goggles and dirty dog. Listen, like, Adrian, yeah. next year, I want my door to be a big blow up of Joe in ski goggles. Oh, Naomi, you've already won my heart with that fucking door. Get it. That's what I want. That's what I want. So I want to yes. know the stylist name. <laughs> like who said, here's some ski goggles, Joe. And why did Joe say sounds good? Fuck. Bring I, your ski goggles like, next year and make sure if you can get him to wear them, that would be a moment. That would really be a moment. Dude. Okay. So. I don't know if Donnie will see, will see this, but that's one of my suggestions for a theme night. The theme mm-hmm. night would be called video games and it would be dress up as your favorite new kids on the block video moment. Yes. Don't you think that would be fun? Uh-huh. Yeah. 100%. And I'm going as Striped Kid. Yes. I'm, I'm going as Striped Kid. From, Hash, this is for the children. For I'm going to make it sexy. Serious, thank you. And I'm going to have my tits out in a like striped tight sweater and put a, I'm going to make Chris go as another strike kid as well. Holy um, shit. so yeah, anyway, sorry. I was dirty dog and, um, I basically had dog ears and a dog tail and a shirt that Chrissy, my friend Chrissy made. She's so good with that cricket machine, mm-hmm. um, dirty dog. And everyone was, uh, twisted kitties, the meow meow crew. Follow yes. them on Instagram too. Um, so that was the most fun night, really, like second to bring back the time because we weren't even by the stage. We were on deck 12 out of our fucking minds. We mm-hmm. were so inebriated, you the know, Patron. right? We were wasted. This is what I but saw. That's because when we, yeah, what'd you see? I was down on the lower deck. I got my Jordan selfie. He left. I'm like, sweet. Now I'm going to go find everybody. And then I went up there and everybody's drinking yes. out of the Patron bottle. And it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that Patron bottle was a gift from doing Rat Chat because we were supposed to do shots on deck. We didn't get to it. But the production crew was like, yeah, we'll just give you get you a bottle of Patron. So, of course, we jacked it on our way off the stage. We are like, this is ours. Um, and that Patron bottle got passed around like, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Chrissy, oh, damn. We Chrissy were way like pour- shit. Chrissy's no. like, come here. And then she's like, and she starts pouring it into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, they had to put security guards 
on our side of the deck because they were scared we were gonna jump overboard because oh we fucking lost our mind. And then Danger. I, I remember Danny was trying to go on deck and I see Danny like walk towards us. He mm-hmm. takes a look at us, turns his ass around and like jaunts back. <laughs> He's like, I am not dealing with this. Um, <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs> It was so fun finding you guys up there. Lots of dancing. Oh, lots of dancing. It was really lots wicked awesome. You know, dancing, dancing too, we found love for the fifth time was my favorite thing ever. I If I hear we found love again, I don't need to hear it for another 12 months. <laughs> like We heard it enough. I love, I, I think that's like Donnie's favorite song. So lots of love to Donnie, but. Um, the yeah. overplayed. <laughs> Lido Dex songs list. No, okay. the, the top hits of 2014. <laughs> <laughs> There's songs now that I hear on the radio or at work or whatever. It makes me think of the cruise. You know what I mean? Oh, like, totally, right? Off um, that list. Off that, um, the list is actually really good. Like mm-hmm. there was a moment where uh, Quiet Riot was on with <laughs> Come On, Feel the Noise. And yeah. Donnie and I had one of the most special moments where he we clasped hands and, mm. he, and we're yelling the lyrics to that song at each other. And I mean, some of those songs will take you to a very cool place. So <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Halloween yeah. night was fun. And then the next day was, wasn't that beach day? No, the next day was photo op day. And then that night was the, uh, the GPS night. Oh, yeah, so we had our photo op, and that was really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was just like everyone else's photo op. And then uh, GPS night, we were sharks because we live in San Jose. So we uh, were the San Jose Sharks, which is our NHL hockey team. And we yes, dressed up- hockey. Yes. See, we Speaking don't my language. We don't go to any of the games or anything. So uh, you're probably more hockey than we are, but. It's a good um, representation though. Yeah, it was fun. And we we have these hockey sticks that we we're carrying around. Mm-hmm. Um, and gosh, that that night was pretty crazy because that was the last night. And mm-hmm. we partied our hearts out until we docked. And it was a night to let loose big time. And then uh by the end, because we were, yeah, we were on the Lido deck to like 6 a.m., right? We were, yeah. And uh there was like tears and stuff. Like we were really, it was so emotional in a good way. It was that, that was such a special moment. Mm-hmm. So many special moments. Cause yeah, it, it was, I think everyone is, was also probably almost at a physical exhaustion space. And so that mixed yeah. in with just recognizing how special that moment in time was. I, I, I will carry that with me forever. And Hmm. it was it was pretty spectacular yeah I cannot wait for the next one (laughs) but but you're right there are there are quite a few things that now I looking back I'll be able to say for put that in the bucket and the learning bucket the learning bucket and know for next time what what will make the experience even better yeah Do do what are those for you do you know any off the top of your head learning how to pack great um, like not overpacking I actually underpacked surprisingly oh. so but <laughs> well maybe next time I was just throwing things everywhere and I was like where I can't find things half the time because I tossed them somewhere else and yeah it was like that I think your roommate needs to be Chrissy next cruise because she <laughs> is the most resourceful friend to have and um, she's so she, organized oh she's organized she's thoughtful Mm-hmm. and she's just that person that need a band-aid she's got it need Tylenol got it need she takes care um, of eye you. patches like the oh I love Chrissy so much love you Chrissy she she we wins the roommate you. award yeah yes she's um, fantastic I would say the one other big learning I had is uh how the physicality of the cruise like the physiology I I did not realize and people say it all the time, but you don't really learn about it until you happen. It happens, but yeah, the the cankles that were on my body for they're still 
recovery. Um, but also just like the exhaustion, mm-hmm. um, the, the, if you're an introvert, like being able to manage your energy, if you're an extrovert managing your energy a different way. Um, mm-hmm. and so I think like drinking more, just, just those things. I think if, if we go on another cruise, uh, we're going to pay more attention to that for sure. Mm-hmm. And I also, I'm thinking about like cabins and such too. I, you know, if we have a year to save up too, I'm going to save up for a cabin that has like a window or a balcony. I really liked your guys' cabin. I thought your cabin was awesome. Yeah. Uh, we, we had a triple on the 11th floor by the spa. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris and I were actually talking about if we do decide to go on another cruise, we're actually want to downgrade <laughs> yeah. to a room that is maybe on the l- least or less expensive side um just because of the amount of time we spent in our room and what we used it for like Mm -hmm. we did have a nice balcony but I think we spent maybe a total of 40 minutes on that balcony the entire cruise um so I just I don't want to I was grateful for the room we had but I don't want an interior cabin again I gotcha that makes sense yeah I need I want to see more feel a little more open <laughs> but you're yeah. right for what you use it for you go there to get ready and you go there to crash and yeah. that's about it yeah yeah so that's fair <laughs> but yeah so to sum things up I mean rat tail at the new kids cruise isn't it just amazing everything that happened yeah it, it was absolutely a gift um we're, we're still even still kind of processing it all. Like yeah. it was a lot. And, um, it, I think just, just how the, the tour was an amazing opportunity to get to be with the blockhead world. The cruise is, is the, the tour times a hundred, you know, it mm-hmm. is like the ultimate microcosm of all of, all of the mega fans, all of the people we know and love. Um, we have, we haven't felt as loved ever. And I, I, you know, it it just, I can't, it's it's kind of like, you can hear me stuttering over this, uh, finding the words is difficult. Um, it's hard to express. Yeah. It really is hard to express. And if there's anybody out there that's like kind of teetering on, should I go on a cruise, go on the cruise go on the cruise. Let's figure out a way to make it happen. I know it's not, um, cheap and it's a privilege to get to go on the cruise. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's worth at least one, one shot for sure. See how you like it. See how you like it. And, you know, get to be a part of that part of our, our, the fandom. It's pretty special. Is there anything that happened that I might've missed that we should we should bring up or did we cover everything? Do you have any other stories that I might not have gone over? No, I think, I think we're good. Okay. Well, for our listeners who don't know about rat tail yet, and I don't know if there are any, but (laughs) (laughs) rat tail, you got to find them on YouTube, YouTube youtube.com forward slash rat tail. And uh, you can see all of the amazing video reviews and reactions they've done. You can see the footage from Rat Chat on the cruise on the Lido deck. The guys reveal some stuff that some we never even knew. So it'll be interesting if you want to go check it out. It's a lot of fun. And make sure you're following us on Instagram, Twitter. We're also on TikTok. Uh, we have a Facebook group. And uh, we're taking a little bit of a break over the holiday season. Uh, but we will re- be revealing when we're back. And we have got some fun plans. So make sure you're subscribed on YouTube so you can get notified when our next episode comes out in the new year. Can't wait. Yeah. It's so cool. Thanks, Naomi. Thank you, Adrian. I'm really, really glad to have had this time with you today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And and we love you so much. And if I could take a quick moment, um, I also cannot wait to see what's going to happen with Dope Nostalgia. You have done such an amazing job with your podcast. You are an inspiration as a fellow content creator. You do such substantial, like Naomi, you are, you are legit. And 
Uh, it's amazing to see the people that you have on your, on the, on the cast, the intelligence that you bring to the conversation. Um, it, it's amazing. And we're just as excited to see what this year looks like for you. I love you so much. Thank you. I mean, that means a lot to me. I really, really appreciate that coming from you. Join me next week for more tales of our adventures out at sea with the new kids on the block.